Hi there, this is Jillian, and today I'm going to teach you on how to upload your products from WooCommerce Etsy. I'm also going to discuss some of the most important things you need to know about the plugin. Without further ado, let's begin. So once you log in to your WooCommerce account, you should see this button right here. If you're not seeing that, it means that your Etsy store hasn't been connected yet. So please do so. I'll write down a link in the description below that will give you the step-by-step -step process on how to do that. So hover on Etsy feed and click on create new feed. Okay, create feed will allow you to upload your products. Manage feed, I'll talk more about that later, and contact us will allow you to reach out to us or contact customer support just in case you have any issues. This is going to be by email. Now, let's start uploading our products. Feed by category will allow you to upload your products in bulk or by category. And custom product feed will allow you to upload your products individually. So go on ahead and click on WooCommerce category. Let's say I want to sell t-shirt prints. So these are the WooCommerce categories for your products. Click on save and click on Etsy category. So Etsy category would be the category that your product is going to be under once they have been successfully uploaded to Etsy. Let's just wait for it to load. Okay, now since I am selling a t-shirt, the appropriate uh, category for that should be clothing. Let's say it's a boy's clothing. Um, click on tops and tees and t-shirts click on save and select a shipping template i'll discuss more about shipping templates once we go here under shipping configuration provide a product feed title this will help you identify the product feed later just in case you want to edit it let's say a t-shirt i'll name it t-shirt print Okay, click on create feed and click on upload to Etsy. Depending on the size of your product feed, it shouldn't really take longer than five minutes for all of them to get uploaded. As you can see, I only have one product here, so it shouldn't it, it should be finished within seconds. Click on start uploading. And there you have it. Your product has been successfully uploaded. So if you log into your Etsy store, you will be able to see that under the dress folder. Now, I'll talk more about these options right here. Let's go to manage feeds. I created a product feed earlier titled t-shirt prints let's say you want to delete it so you can delete it from here manage feeds um, let's say you want to edit it so from here you will be able to change this the shipping template for example or you will also be able to edit the etsy category or add more woocommerce categories just in case you want to upload more products into it Let's move on to uploaded listings. From here, you will be able to see all of the products that has been uploaded. You will be able to see the state, upload status, uh, price, quantity, and variations. So uh, state, most of them are in draft state, meaning you would have to log into your etsy store and uh, manually change it to an active listing or to manually publish them 
and if ever there was a problem in the variations you will also be able to see it right here um let's move on to shipping configuration from here you would be able to set a shipping profile by default so for example you want to create a new product feed to upload your products if this is your default shipping profile this will be automatically selected so you can also change it from here you will also be given a button here that says create shipping for etsy and it will redirect you to your etsy store so that you can create a new one once you have created that that uh, new shipping profile just click on refresh shipping so that it will fetch it to the system now let's move on to etsy orders so our app will also allow you to send over your products from etsy to woocommerce without you having to log in to both platforms let's say for example a buyer purchased a product from your etsy store we will automatically send that to um, woocommerce so that you wouldn't have to log in to your etsy store anymore to fulfill it so that you can uh, full, just fulfill it over to woocommerce if the order wasn't successfully sent you will be able to see the reason here for example this one says it hasn't been created because the SKU didn't match please make sure that your products have unique SKUs since our system mainly syncs information via SKU numbers now let's move on to settings from here, you would be able to configure your Etsy store on how you would like to sell your products. You can choose a language for your shop. Let's say you want to sell in Japanese. Variation separation, you can choose if you want to separate it by comma, hyphen, etc. And here would be your product information. Who made it? Is it a finished product, etc. Here is one of the most important things. If you want to be able to check the listing on Etsy first before making them active or before publishing them, you can set this to draft. Otherwise, if you're sure that the product listing is correct and you're confident that it can be published, you can set this to active and the upload will automatically publish your products on etsy now let's move on to etsy sync settings one if all of these are checked it means that the title the description the price the tags materials and images will be the same on your etsy store as it is on woocommerce if you for example want to sell the product on etsy using a different price then make sure that check if you want to sync woocommerce product price with etsy item price is not checked so it removes the check mark there same goes with the product title. If you want to sell your WooCommerce product to Etsy with a different title, then just make sure that this is not checked. Feed management, this would be the interval or frequency of how often your products will be synced. And order management will give you the option to create order in WooCommerce order page when asked when SKU matches, reduce WooCommerce inventory when a new order arrives, or if the variation quantity is not set or not specified, you can choose to reduce the parent inventory or parent product's inventory. 
and you will also be able to select how frequent you want to get your orders fetched by the system. I think that's about it. Those are the most important things that you need to know about our app. If you have any further questions or if you're experiencing any issues, please don't hesitate to get in contact with us. There is also a link right here that will allow you to email us and we'll uh, reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.